Describe the covalent bond. Well, this is going to be simple, but there'll be more complicated videos after. So the word covalent comes from co, which means together, like cooperation, co-precipitation, cohabitation. And valent, which is valence, like the valence electrons, the electrons in the outer shell. You know, group one has one valence, group three has three valence. So covalent bonding is sharing the valence electrons. Let's look at a simple, but the simplest example, which is hydrogen. So it's just a proton and an electron. Now they'll form a covalent bond. Those two electrons will be paired up in between the nuclei. So the protons are positive. So let me just get rid of those P's for protons. And put the pluses in their place. All nuclei are positive. And the electrons are negative. And let me take off those electrons and put those negative signs in. Ah, so you can see the attraction now that the positive nuclei are electrostatically attracted to the negative electrons in the bond, those pair of electrons there. So a covalent bond is due to the electrostatic, that's plus and minus, so opposites attract, attraction of the nuclei to bonded pairs of electrons. And I bet the IB is going to be funny and make sure you say pairs of electrons. I can't spell nuclei. It's only been 35 years of using that word. Rather strangely, the IB want me to just draw out a whole bunch of single, double, and triple bonded compounds to show you that you can have single, double, and triple bonds. Uh, now, rather confusingly, these lines here aren't minus signs for the charge of the electrons. These are electron pairs. You don't like that? Well, then talk to Dr. Lewis. He was the guy that discovered this. Oh, but he's dead. So you'll probably need a Ouija board or something.